What's up guys this is Hardik here and today I'll be showing you the 5.0.1 ROM for the Sony Xperia C. So as you can see this is the 5.0.1 ROM and I'll just quickly go into the settings here and I'll just scroll down to about phone and as you can see it's the Karthik Prisons Lollipop 5.0.1 Xperia C ROM and here's the Android version as you can see 5.0.1 so I'll be showing you how to flash it. Basically, I'll be giving a link in the description below for the ROM. And oops, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll be giving a link in the description for the ROM and just paste it in your internal or external memory card and just ignore the noise that's coming from there. It's actually construction going on at the place, but it's okay. Uh, just reboot into your recovery real quick. So here I have the CWM recovery as you can see here. You just have to do is wipe data and flag to reset your device, then wipe cache partition and then go into advanced and then just uh, wipe the dial with cache. That's all you gotta do. Then go into install zip from SD card, then go into apply, I'm sorry, choose zip from SD card and then navigate to the Lollipop 5.0.1 for Xperia C as you can see and just go ahead and flash it. So that's what you gotta do. Then go back, go back and just reboot system now and just hit no here and just wait until it reboots. Just an FYI the first boot is gonna take a long time. This is not my first boot actually as, as you'll know I already installed on flash the ROM so this is not my first boot but the first boot is gonna take a lot of time. So just be patient and just don't Just don't like press the power button and turn off the device or something. Just wait patiently and we'll just eventually boot up. Felt the vibration over there. And yeah, there we go. So as you can see the lock screen is pretty basic as you used to get on the Xperia devices. Just swipe down a swipe up. And there as you can see it's the new Xperia launcher. There we go. Also you get the lollipop kind of uh, nav buttons here. If you didn't get this, uh, I'll just quickly show you how to get it. Okay, it freezed for no reason. I don't know. Um, cool. So I'll be just reviewing this ROM kind of stuff. So here I had a lot, like really lot of pre-installed apps. So as you can see, the new launcher brings this as well here on the left hand side. But I had a lot and lot pre-installed apps here. You have no idea. I just disabled all of them. I'll just quickly show you. Just go into the settings real quick again. I'm going to my apps again. And I'll just show you how many apps did I <laughs> like disable. You can see these all are themes. You can disable them if you want or un uninstall them, I guess. But if you go into all, if I just swipe down. There you can see these many apps I have disabled. So that's the down point of uh, this ROM. It has a lot of lot of like bloatware in it, I guess. But also it has few awesome features. So one of them is it comes pre-installed with exposed. So as you can see, exposed is pre-installed in this ROM. So that's a good thing. And as you can see, uh, it's on the latest framework. But if you install this um, for the first time, it won't be on the latest framework, so you just have to install it. So that's the just install update and just reboot. Modules will be very few. Uh, I just had these three, and yeah, it comes with a theme manager, but I'll be talking about that a bit later in the video. But, anyways, I just installed this 20 AB Super Air Auto. I have yet to test it, but yeah, there's this mod here. So going back, uh, just going to download and you, as you can see there are a lot and lot of modules here. I won't, I won't be going into details about these mods but yeah, you can just download and reboot and install them. Next thing here is as you can see you get this new Cybershot, I'm sorry, Cybershot kind of camera. I didn't test it yet but if I just click a picture here quick, there we go and if I just look at the picture here. The quality will remain same for obviously, uh, but yeah, did see any that much of change except it's focus on Amazon here. But anyways, you just could write yourself. Here's the video. So that's there. 
second thing here you can see it's the phone kind of like lollipop style here is the messenger of course the google messenger the all the sony stuff music album movies and play store then um, as you can see here are a few stock apps as well you get the file commander with es file explorer as well i don't know why we need this but you also had this like root explorer install as well but that's i just disabled that anyways um so you also have gravity box but you have to like update it from the expose and yeah works really well i've tried few things okay got it but yeah works really well and no complaints about the gravity box and the uh, expose actually pretty happy they included it in the rom so that's there now the theme manager it's the hk theme manager i have no idea what that means but anyways there's a theme manager installed here so if i if you just swipe here you get all the other themes as you can see here but i stuck with, i'm stuck with the android l1 just had to hit apply and then more theme and then fix theme or just set theme so if you just set theme you just you will get all this things and just set theme and you'll just have to reboot your device once and then you're good to go so there are a total of seven themes pre-installed here but you can download many from the play store as well and the hk theme manager the update is also in the expose installer i have no idea what the exposed xperia exposed means i have no idea but there's this xperia home customize your home uh enable i don't know what's this but i'll just try it and just try it as well for your device uh, but system features and stuff you get over here so going back to home um, here if I just look at all the other features you get the mobile uncle tools I guess it's pre installed I have no idea because I installed it for installing the custom recovery the CWM recovery on the Xperia C so that's uh, been there for that period of time but if I just click on that and they can see just grant the thing permissions and you're good to go so yeah, I just updated my recovery from here, as you can see the recovery image. But anyways, uh, swipe here again, super issue. Also, it includes that in the backup, so that's actually a good thing. Okay. So my encryption is disabled, as you can see, um, and cloud storage is inactive as well. But anyways, backup and restore. You can just backup all your stuff. You should back. Go into your main home screen, and what else you get? You get a recorder. Uh, with the ROM as well, so that's the good thing. Oops, it's running. No, it's not. Yeah, the next thing here, as you can see, is the status bar. Yes, it's changed as you can see here. Um, okay, but it's kind of weird. I don't like this stuff, but you can then you know, swipe here, and there you can see the ROM. I guess I don't know what's that. Okay, it's the name of the ROM. Yeah, that's. Oops, here's the volume slider. Okay, as you can see, here's the volume slider you get. And I don't know where the quick toggles here. It like comes and disappears at the same time. I have no idea about that. If I just double hand, nothing happens as you can see. So that's yet to test. Also, as you can see, there's no like um, users. Okay, you got something. I don't know what's that. I don't know what's that, but I don't know what it. I don't know how it came here, but anyways, I just tapped here a bit times and it just came. So that's there. So again, going into the settings and then going into your sound and quality. As you can see, there are a few of the Sony Xperia apps here. I'm um, sorry, Sony Xperia things over here. As you can modify your Xperia device. Then going into your display, as you can see here. We get this the mobile Bravia engine to image quality enhance for phone and videos for, for photos and videos brightness and themes as you can see here there's an addition here so there are a whole lot of themes here I'll just quickly set the lollipop one let's see the lollipop um, 4 and hang on for a second there we go is the lollipop screen uh, is the lollipop theme and the wallpaper is changed as well so it's pretty cool pretty neat um, so this is the as I said launcher you get all here you get your play store so that's there then you get 
your uninstall search apps on order alphabetical that's there as well then i can go into settings and just check out what else we get in settings power management uh, it was there uh, in the stock room as well so not a big deal over here then you get here is xperia tm that you used to get in the stock room as well setup guide i guess it's for the rom itself i have no idea the accounts and then about phone also you get the developer options here already so that's there you can just protect the sd card here short touches and stuff the normal things that you get in your developer options what else we get here um we get here is the camera app as i said two camera apps here one is the default one just quickly show you the layout there we go as you can see it's the default and the other one is the cyber shot also the next thing i wanted to show is if you just flip your device like this your entire screen rotation changes that's awesome as i mean that's really awesome as you can see uh, it actually completely changes the orientation if you go to settings again as you can see if we just go into home again there you can see the entire orientation changes so that's actually a huge huge step here uh, and, I, and i actually like it a lot we used to get this in the marshmallow developer preview 2 i guess yeah i think so, so that's really neat here so yeah that's been it we'll just quickly check the storage how much we get here and go to settings go into storage uh, and there you can see it's available 235 MB and it's just 0.98 GB so that's a downside here <laughs> but I already installed um, a memory card here so there's no big deal also if you have to increase your uh, like internal memory to 2 GB uh, 2 gigabytes you can just go into the link in the description below um, some youtuber make it and I actually like it a lot and I'll just try it again later but yeah Thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll see you guys in the next one